Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, The Growing Developer. This will be the part two of this video, and in this video, we're gonna make the second screen for this application. The drawer is still to be made, and so let's just keep it aside for the third video because if I show you the UI, you can see that we don't have much to do in the drawer. So I wanted to explain how we can achieve this kind of UI for that because most of the work is done for this drawer, and you all you need is to make a column and add all the stuff here so we'll keep it aside for the third part don't worry for this second part we're gonna make this ui i guess you can make uh, i guess you can see what uh, is done for this ui this is just a column and this is a row right so using a column and row and row you can make this part right this text as well so what I'll be showing is how you're gonna add this container over this image and how you're gonna place this image and to divide these two uh, portions equally and how you're gonna add this button and a cool a little curve to these buttons right so that's all for this video let's see how we can implement that the growing developer So for the coding part let's just uh, replicate this image so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this container where is the container there you go with high 240 I'm just gonna copy this container and after this container paste it again and you can see that we have two cats but for this container if you can see the UI the cat is different and the color is different right so what we're gonna do is go to this container and change the color from blue gray to maybe orange save it the color is changed no orange doesn't look good actually if we use the 100 shade yeah looks much better orange with a 100 shade right and for the image it will be cat1.png let me just show you the image i have this image here so i'll be uploading the code soon on github i didn't upload it the code on github why because the code was not at all completed and so i didn't want it to upload an incomplete code so after this video this will be partially completed so i'll upload the code don't worry and all the links will be in the descriptions so save it and you can see that we have multiple cats okay. now one uh, issue with our design is that if we add any more container then we'll have the render flex overflow error why because this is a column and not a list view not a scrollable list view so for that what we can do is column. we'll go here as a body right this is a column so for to make if this whole screen a scrollable one just wrap this column with a new widget and we call that widget a single child scroll view right if you use single child scroll view it makes a column scrollable always remember by default a column is not at all scrollable and now you can see that now let's check if the screen is scrollable or not uh, it doesn't look much promising right so let's add some sized box to check if it works a sized box with a height of 50 and now yes it's working right so you can see that i had the padding of 50 pixels and now this ui is scrollable now let's move on to the second screen that is if you see the ui if i click on this uh, cat it should show me this screen right we'll be working only for one container here and you can work for other containers in the similar fashion right so let's see how we can make it first of all go to your lib folder create a new file I name it as screen 2 I will repeat this several times that this is not the structure the correct way to structure your application you can make different different directories as your wish this is only for demonstration purpose and so maintain your own uh, organized manner right so let's go quickly import the material package after that create a status class and name it as screen 2 you can name anything you want screen 2 and we're gonna add some cool animations to this image as well 
uh, specifically the hero animation I will return a scaffold we don't need an app bar right now for body now see the UI. you should first be able to determine which widget to use for your UI as you can see that we have multiple things here first of all we have a background that is divided into two parts first with the gray color and then the second with the white color so definitely we can make it happen using a column right but all the other widgets like this icon like this icon as well as this cat image and this container are overlapping the below column right so to use a stack widget for that how to use it we already saw how we use the stack to uh, implement this design now let's see how we can use it here so as a body pass a stack stack takes up children right as a children i'll first pass position dot fill that means fill the entire screen as a child to that i'll pass a column stack works according to the order so the first widget in the order of this children list is gonna be below uh, every widget right so every widget that you put after this will be overlapping so for the first widget i'll be using a column that will be two containers one with blue gray color and other will uh, be a white color container so for the children of column i'm gonna pass container with a call uh, not a child with a color of blue gray and we used a 300 shade so we'll stick with a 300 shade you can always decrease the shade to get lighter tone after this container i'm gonna pass another container this time the color will be white one right good to go now understand this by default we have not given any size to this container so we gonna wrap this container with another widget known as expanded widget why i'm using an expanded widget let me just reformat it looks much organized why i'm using an expanded widget because i want these two containers to occupy equal space right so for that i'll be using expanded widget so that all uh, these two containers occupy equal space so for the second container as well I'm gonna wrap it with the container uh, an expanded widget sorry let's check this out how are we even supposed to check it out we have not declared any navigation between these two so for, go to your home screen and go to your container wrap this container with a widget known as gesture detector right this gesture detector takes up a parameter known as on, on tap on on tap you declare a function which is what are you going to do when this container is tapped so you're gonna navigate dot push if you don't know this is how we navigate from one place to another or not one place from one screen to another screen right you declare a root um, widely so i'll write material page route and the, this route it takes up a builder parameter as a context i just return screen two there you go now let's save it and if i tap this container you can see that we have a new screen but we don't have any button to uh, navigate anywhere so for that let's quickly make up a button so after this position dot fill after this position dot fill we'll use another position or you can also use align widget align widget works perfectly with string you can use any of the widget you prefer let me just show you with an align widget and then i'll be showing you with a position widget as well so it takes up a parameter as alignment so it'll give alignment dot top center done as a child you tell me what are we gonna uh, what are we supposed to pass as a child to this how are we gonna make this ui using a row right so quickly we'll create a row 
and as children to it i'm gonna first pass an icon button icon would be uh, icons dot arrow back ios and on pressed we gonna call a function known as navigator dot pop why is this navigator dot pop used to get back to the previous screen remember to get back to the previous screen right then as a second child what uh, i'm gonna pass another icon button maybe and this time the icon would be icon start share and on pressed value will be in another empty widget right let's save it and see what happens you can see that we have a row here but it is going upward okay someone suggested me in the comments to use a safe area let's use a safe area first and i'll tell you why i don't use safe area here if you use a safe area you can see that we have this black outline here so i don't like it so that's why i'm not using a safe area for that instead you should always go for some padding above so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap this align with a new widget known as container right and for the container as a margin as a margin i'll pass edge insets dot only top that is i only want margin from top and that would be 50 pixels save it and there you go you can see that this shifted 50 pixels downwards you can always play with that uh, you can say set it to 40 it's all big uh, it's all according to your device styles right so in upcoming series or videos i'm gonna tell you how we're gonna dynamically allow uh, how we're gonna dynamically allot any paddings and margin to them so till then let's stick to this and for the row i can give a main axis alignment as dot space between this way i can get a space between these two containers and now looks much better the uh, and now it looks much better right so yes you can see that there is some difference in the icons as i told you in the part one as well that these are all custom made icons and we are using default icons so there will be a change in the icons as well so don't worry about that once you work on any application you can always download the png images for that as i did for these uh icons so it's all your wish uh the main focus is on the ui so let's stick to that now after that we are done with this position dot fill so it's always a better practice to just minimize it you can always see the icons here you can minimize it from here so we have the position dot filled what is this doing this will just give a column that will be filling the entire screen and then we have the container that is aligned to top next thing is the image for that i will be using another align widget so as alignment i'll be using alignment dot top center as a child i'll be using an image dot asset and the you would be images slash what is the value it cat 2 dot png right you can see the name here also so save it and there you go you can see that we have the cat image here this is working and there you go okay now if you want to add some margin to this cat as well you can always do by the same thing as i just wrapped it in the container gave it some margin so it's your wish how you're gonna do it so let's do it right let's do it container next step add a margin next use edge sets dot only next from where you want only from top this time it will be 20 pixels only and there you go we have some padding and this ui looks better done now what about this button let me just show you the ui now what about this not a button a container actually so can you guess what we're going to use of course we're going to use an align 
widget only this time the alignment would be center right let me just show you let's minimize this once again okay one more thing that luckily this image is having the size exactly equal to the half of this screen right so if you don't have the image if this image size is bigger so you can explicitly give some size to this it takes up the parameter as height and width go and play with different different values for height and width in upcoming videos i'll tell you how you're gonna how you can use media query to get dynamic height and width so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and let's move forward right so after this container I'll use another yet another align widget and this as an alignment this time the alignment would be dot center we have a center alignment always make sure what kind of values these take right take a note on that I'm working on a website right now and as soon as that website is live I'll tell you I'll share the link with you it will be for our channel only I'm writing blogs on that so all the links will be in the descriptions uh, so i'm writing stuff so that along with the watching the video you can also see the uh, you can also see the written stuff there right so let's move forward and as a child i'm gonna pass a container the container will take some height because we need to give some height to this right we need to give some height to this so as a height let let's give it a 150 pixels height and as a child it would be nothing so let's just discard the child because i'll not be showing you how you're gonna write text in a flutter right if you if you are very much new to flutter if you have, if you're watching this video first time go to my flutter 21 days challenge there i have explained how you're gonna use the text widget if you don't know how to style a text right so now next thing is the color property this color is white but this is having a curve to itself as well so for that we have to use the decoration property inside this decoration we can use box decoration and border radius not border border radius border radius dot all or circular a little bit 20 pixels I, I know I prefer using 20 because it suits different different styles easily and different screens and inside this box decoration only you have to declare the color property explained it in the container video as well that if you have the box decoration property then you have to declare the color inside that and not outside that you can see that we have a property known as color here as well if you are using a box decoration if you are using the decoration parameter initialize and give the color inside that done let's save it and see what happens there you go you can see that the container is taking up the space and uh, okay we have to give some margin to it so edge in sets this time i'll be using a symmetric margin why because i want the margin to be from all the horizontal axis right so horizontal this will be 20 and you can see that we have the spacing now this container is overlapping this next thing what we're going to do is to give it some shadow so box shadow we have the shadow list and there you go you can see that we have the container you can decrease the height to 100 if you wish and it looks much better and much cooler i'll stick with 120 and now accordingly you can add a column let me just zoom it so how are you gonna make it it will be a column first uh, as a child first child it will be a row use the main axis alignment dot space between to give space between them then it will be another row with a space between main axis alignment and this row you know you need not to give any space between main axis alignment why because we don't have any much space between them right and next thing is to add this button right how to add this container you can see that this container is having a grayish kind of color to it so let's see how we can make it so again use the line widget this time the alignment would be you guess bottom center right so 
not top center come on bottom center as a as a child once again i'll give it a container with what's happening come on yeah and height this time i give it uh, 150 pixels height right so 150 pixels height the color would be a grayish color gray save it and you can see a gray color gray is not actually what we were looking so a lightish gray and we can increase the shade to 200 and looks much better now next is to add some curve to it i don't know if you are able to see it but we do have some curve here right so to give it some curve we can use the border radius start circular property but this time the curve is only for these two edges not for below so for that we have a decoration property now i'll tell you one thing i've used box decoration property i've declared the color outside it save it and you can see your lovely red screen that we don't want no developer want this red screen right why this error is coming just because this color is a shorthand for this once you declare the property here so it automatically refers to this and the color property inside this is empty right now so cut it from here and paste it inside this box decoration always remember that save it and there it's gone right let's move on to the radius part so border radius this time i'll use border radius dot only right this this way you can only give radius to selective edges so it will be top left not bottom left top left for the top left it takes radius dot circular 20 pixels and for the top right it's the same so you can copy that copy and paste here and save it and you can see that we definitely got some curve here you can increase the curve by uh, 40 pixels so that it is there you go if the curve is not visible to you let me just change the color from red to uh, from gray to red save it and now you can see that we do have some curve here so play with the colors as you wish and our next thing is to have the buttons here so as a child to this container as a child to this container i'll pass which widget to align these in a vertical axis we use row so as a child we'll use a row widget row takes up children for the first one it will be two containers first one will have some height of 50 pixels maybe and width would be of 50 pixels as well as a child okay color it would be primary green and as a child to it i'll use an icon this icon would be icons dot border we do have right and for the next container let's save it and see what happens and you can see that we got the container as well here so for the icon color i can give it a color of white and increase the height to 60 and width to 60 as well so that it's much more visible and of course it's the same thing you can give the border radius so box decoration box decoration the radius would be border radius dot circular and this time the radius would be 20 ah, okay now i messed it up you have to declare the color inside the box decoration my bad and save it and you can see that we got some cool radius along that you can increase it by 30 it's completely circular now so let's stick to 20 and i can increase the width to 70. for the next container you have to uh, give some height and width now, now one thing here that if you give some predefined width and height to this the width will not be managed across all the screen so i prefer using a uh, so i prefer using an expanded widget for that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap this container with a widget known as expanded you all know that right now as a child to this container i'll pass a text 
the text would be what is the text adoption right so the text would be adoption and then just style it according to you see it you can't see the text right now let's just give it some decoration first decoration the color would be primary green and the radius would be border radius dot circular 20 pixels and you can see that we have a cool button not exactly how we want it so let's give it some height right and 60 pixels would be fine and just have this text with a center widget so that it is in the center and just increase the size for this font to maybe 24 looks much better we do need some padding and margins between them so what i can do after this container i'll give it a sized box with width 10 pixels maybe save it and we got some padding now we do need some padding uh, at horizontal axis as well so what we're going to do is in this container we'll give it a margin so what i'm going to use margin start edge inset start symmetric and for the horizontal parameter it will be 20 pixels now what else we can do is that i can add some animation to this image so for that go to the image and we have the image we use the image here you go now what we're going to do is wrap this image with a new widget with a new widget known as hero give it a tag as one right now i'm giving it a tag one this tag should be unique this tag should be unique and you will be passing the tag from the previous screen right so this is only for demonstration purpose so i think it's good right now for this cat here i'll just wrap this with another hero widget and the tag should be same to get the animation for you so it will be one let's save it okay so we got some errors so let's just remove this comma let's save it and see there you go if i go to new screen you can see that i got some cool animation this is because of the hero widget only these these two cats are sharing same tags that's why the animation is there so you have to pass the tag from this screen to another screen i'll tell you about that in upcoming videos I'll tell all about that how you can pass data between two screens and uh, let's see third part would be all about this drawer this will be a shorter part and just tell me in the comments if you want me to cover the text part as well you want me to complete the whole UI or if you are okay with it and you want to work yourself on that right so that's all for this video hope you like this video hope you enjoy this video I'll be uploading the source code on github now you can complete the rest part uh, and uh, you can always use uh, like this will be a column first one will be a row and second will be a normal text thank you all for watching this video hope you are having a nice day goodbye